Hello my friends. Uh, we're going to do a tutorial on how to mix flesh tones. Now this is for the painting I'm doing on Mark Fardner of his portrait and you can see uh, well you can't see because I got it zoomed in. Let me zoom out just a little bit to start with. We can really zoom back. Okay. Alright, this is my palette so far over here are the dark colors I've told you my base color and then a darker version of it because I added more blue to it than the, the reddish color and the bluish colors that I've been using on the shirt and stuff uh, I've gotten to where I like having a little mauve in my uh, palette here lately uh, also a touch of yellow ochre and green light and then this is a zinc white and titanium white I put those there to do uh, the reflections and stuff in the eye. But, alright, so what we're going to do, the three base colors that you use to mix flesh and oils are these here. This is Indian Red, this is Sap Green, and this is Yellow Ochre. Okay. Now, this is where your base color comes from. All right. Now, I'm going to move these out of the way so you can watch me mix the paint. Now, this Indian red is very, you know, it's hard. It's very difficult. Uh, I'm sorry, not difficult. It's, uh, it's a very powerful color. Uh, so, it doesn't take a whole lot of it. Because if you're not careful, it will overpower your other colors that you use. So for this much Indian yellow, I mean Indian red, you add this much sap green. And put a little sap green here to the side. Okay, we'll get to all that in a little bit. And then your yellow ochre, which is the largest part that you use. So it's about twice as much as the Indian red and the sap green. And then put a little over to the side here. Alright, now we are done with those. Let me get those out of the way. Okay. The next thing is we're going to make up our uh, color that our whites or our tints that we use to break down the color. Let's squeeze out a little bit there. A little bit of white there. I use this Winton oil color. Um, usually, if you look, you can get really good deals on it. Uh, like you get, you know, buy one get one free, that kind of stuff. And white is, you know, one of the things. It's one of your main stables that you use. So always make sure that you have plenty of it. And then here we go. We add Windsor Newton orange to make the sherbet color we've talked about. I can't remember whether I've showed you how to make it or not. But here we go. You had about that much right there. And then we're good to go. And then I put a little bit to the side as well. Now these are colors here that I'll be using when I paint the flesh. You don't necessarily just stick to the primary base color. Like I said, that's a base color. Uh, but there are a lot of colors. You know, theoretically, I think you could paint the human flesh using almost any colors that there are. But these come out realistic. I know I got my little quirks. For one, I, I use toothpicks to mix up my paints because <laughs> it's cheap and you don't waste a lot of paint. If you use your palette knife, you, it seems like you lose a lot of paint to me. Okay. But you mix it. And until you come up with basically that color there. Okay. Now to darken it, you use your color from up here, your base color. And then to go to black, you use that color. Okay. All right. So next, we're going to make up our lightener. Let's see. Try to keep my hand out of your way. I'll tell you what, when I do all this is. There's a lot to take into consideration when you're trying to put it on film. 
amazingly though, I just think about what I'm going to say a little bit, then I start filming. Um, you know, I'm imagining it could be better script or whatever, but um, you know, it's not like I, I'm perfect or you know even try to pretend to be. Uh, so I know I'm going to make a mistake every once in a while. So you mix that up. You got your color there. Now if it's too thick for you, you can always add a little linseed oil to it to smooth it down. So what I do there is I take a nice piece of that, bring it over to this white. Now this is about value four, maybe three, somewhere in there. Okay. Yeah, but now this is going to be my lightest of my colors that I use painting in the flesh. This, when you see the flesh, this is the actual white that will make it pop and stand out compared to actual pure white. You see the difference between the two? Okay, but in the painting, this will look white. When you learn how to do that, you really you accomplish something there. Okay, so now, to say to make other mixtures, whatever, say of this here, my base color for flesh, you know, you take a little bit of that color, you mix it in. Some people like to break it on down and make all the values that they are. Me, I used to do that, but now, honestly, I kind of mix it on the palette as I go. Um, because sometimes I don't want to be uh, limited to the colors that are on my palette. I want to be able to um, create some new ones as I go, actually. Okay, so basically that's it. It's not that hard to do. Uh, but you want to use the the colors that I showed you. Let me zoom in on it so maybe you can get a better idea of what it should look like um, once it's mixed. Okay, that's what you're looking for. All right, and then with your sherbet colors, you see how those look? That's what you want. Okay, now you know how to mix flesh. Later on, we'll do a tutorial on how to use it. Okay, all right, thank you very much.